Welcome back, this is Charles Hancock Creations. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a drawing I did based on the Monacan Indian creation story. I plan not to bore you with a ton of exposition like my last video, and only to give you the competency and charge you with the reflection. Tell you that I see these themes that hop out from the myth to me, sacrifice, obligation, discipline, amelioration, family. I'm not gonna go into those morals and themes in this video. I would just encourage your contemplation. In these myths, the line between animal and human and God and spirit is all kind of blurred. These mythological creatures helped create the world alongside humans and to create the rituals and the ways of life. Animals, I think, were used due to their commonality, their relatability, and I think ultimately to remind us that we are just part of nature, just like everything else. With that, creation, the great hair. Enjoy. In the beginning, everything was void and dark. There was only Ei, massive power, energy, life. Ei has the powers of creation and destruction. Ei is good and evil, perfect balance. The first creation of Ei was a huge disk, like an island floating in the sky. Creator made dirt from its own essence and drained its blue blood. When Creator's blood drained, it crashed on the dirt and blue viscera sprayed upward, creating the sky. He called his creation Earth. The disk was dark and became cold. There was only a great tree on the earth, the breath of life. This is how we come to live. These were the days of giants, monsters, and magic. Creator made a giant turtle, and things were good for a time. One day, Earth took stock and was embarrassed life had become ugly. Earth said to Turtle, This is not the way that life is supposed to be on me. Turtle was made guardian of the South. There was a great tumult. There were then earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, swift winds and storms. Fissures sprayed steam, ash, and lava. The land shattered apart. Rocks crashed from the skies. The fires were large and the earth was cleansed. This cycle repeated three more times under the tutelage of Eagle, Bear, and Wolf. Eagle was given special obligation. Bear was made guardian of the west. Wolf was placed in the north. Eons went on, and eventually the earth would see fit to cleanse again and a guardian assigned. And earth used ice to cleanse. Wind and cold blanketed the earth in ice. She was clean again. Ice receded, the Creator gave the Great Hare the duty chief of all the gods, and charged him in the same way as Turtle, Eagle, and Bear, and Wolf before. 
Life began again. The great hare dwelt in the place towards the rising sun, the east. The great hare thought about how he wanted to people the earth. Then others could experience the joys of creation. He made four couples of men and women and put them in a very large bag. He kept the bag close. They were his cherished creations. Thundering was heard in the distance. As it continued, the booms became more regular, rhythmic, and louder. Some giants had come to visit Great Hare. When they discovered what was in the bag, they wanted to eat the people for a fine feast. A giant called out. Meaty morsels they are. Let us try one. The great hare was so angry at these cannibals that he drove the giants away from his home. Godly Hare went about preparing the waters of the lands and filling it with fish. He made the plants, and then he created a giant deer and placed the deer upon the land to feed on the plants of the land.
Now the four lesser gods, who were the four winds seated at each corner of the world, eagle, turtle, bear, and wolf, they became jealous of the deer, sharing their lands and its bounty. They fashioned hunting poles with which they used to kill the great deer. After they had dressed the meat and had a delicious feast, they departed to their four corners. When the great hare saw what jealousy had caused, he reached down and took up a tuft of hares from the slain deer and scattered them all over the earth. Chanting many powerful words, striking his drum and laying charms, he tossed the shaved bits in the air as he danced. Every tiny hair, even those carried by the wind, became a new deer as it returned to the earth. Then the great hare took his bag, which held the men and women, and opened it. He placed a woman and a man upon the earth in one place, and a man and woman in another place. And so the world became filled with so many different kinds of people. Within this single myth, there is reference to many other myths. One of the first men in the story, his name is Redhorn, and he is instrumental to a set of tales called the Redhorn Cycle. In those tales, we learn about the defeat of the giants, Orion's Belt, the Morning Star, and the Pleiades, as well as many more things. Those myths are considered sacred, so I will probably omit those from this series. Many cultures around the world still tell stories about trickster hares, and they're still predominant here in America. If you take a second and think and look around while you're going through your town, you might be surprised if you don't see some trickster hares. Can you think of some trickster hares? Here are some of my favorites. Br'er Rabbit, the Nestle Quick Rabbit, the Trix Rabbit, Bugs Bunny, and my personal favorite, Roger Rabbit. You saved my life! How can I ever repay you? <laughs> I would be extremely interested if you happen to take a look around and find some brands, mascots, or logos that reflect our combined heritage, if you will. Please shoot me a comment down below. I am really intrigued on whether or not people can come up with trickster hairs. Other than that, I'm gonna let you see these last shots of the drawing and I'm gonna get out of here. And always remember, life is what you make it. So make life good. I'll catch up with you guys soon. I got a thing I'm working on right now, so I gotta go.